Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. This is a video lecture for chapter 7, Temperature and Humidity Measurement for subject ENT 286, Instrumentation and Measurement. In this chapter, we will go through the technical basis for common system used to measure temperature and humidity. There are three electric output devices for measuring temperature which are thermocouples, resistant temperature detector, RTDs, and thermistor. The first device is thermocouples. The basis of thermocouple was established by Thomas Johann Seebeck in 1821. If any two metals are connected together, a voltage is developed. This junction of two metal used as a temperature sensor is called a thermocouple. The voltage is generated by a thermoelectric phenomenon called the Seebeck effect, named after Thomas Seebeck who discovered it. It was later found that the Seebeck voltage is the sum of two voltage effects. The Peltier effect stated that Electricity can cause a heat difference at the junction of two different metals connected together. Temperature difference generated by electromagnetic field EMF and is the reverse of the Seebeck effect. Thomson effect relates the reversibles, thermal gradient and EMF in the homogeneous conductor. Potential exists due to temperature gradient along the entire length of the conductors within the circuit. There are, however, a number of complications in their use such as the voltage measurement must be made with no current flow. Connections to voltage measuring device result in additional junctions and voltage depends on the compositions of metals used in the wires. Any junction between two dissimilar metals will perform a thermocouple. If thermocouple wires are connected to digital voltmeter, DVM, this connection will create another thermocouple pair as shown in the slide. The solution is by introducing a reference junction. Reference junction is held at a fixed known temperature. Temperature of a mixture of pure water and pure water ice. There are still two junctions at the DVM terminals but each hails at the same temperature. The terminal voltage will cancel out. We would like the voltmeter to read only V1. We have connected the voltmeter which created two more metallic junctions which are J2 and J3. J2 is a copper to constatant junction which will add a voltage V2 in opposition to V1. One way to determine the temperature of J2 is to physically put the junction into an ice bath. Therefore, the voltmeter reading will be V equal to V1 minus V2 equal to alpha times T J1 plus J2 T J2 and V is equal to alpha times T plus 273.15 minus Tj2 plus 273.15. V is equal to alpha times T1 minus T2, where T2 is equal to 0. Therefore, V is equal to alpha times Tj1. 
Table 9.1 lists common thermocouple pairs. Cremals is an alloy of nickel and chromium. Alumels is an alloy of nickel and aluminium. And constatin is an alloy of nickel and copper. This figure shows the calibration curve for several thermocouples when the reference junction is held at 0 degrees Celsius. Table 9.2 lists voltage in millivolt as a function of temperature for the most common thermocouple pairs. There are a number of factors that must be considered in selecting thermocouples for a given application, which are sensitivity, voltage change per degree temperature change, linearity of the outputs, stability and corrosion resistance, temperature range and cost. In some cases, several thermocouples are connected in series in a device called a thermopile as shown in the slide. When arranged in this manner, the voltage output to the display device is n times the voltage of a single junction, where n is the number of thermocouples in series. This increases the sensitivity of the system. In addition, it provides a method to average several thermocouples which are distributed in a spatial region. Thermopiles are also used in some applications such as a power source. Second device is resistant temperature detector, RTDs. Temperature sensor based on the temperature effect on metal resistance. Most common RTD sensor are constructed from platinum. The resistant temperature relations is given by Calendar van der Sen's equations, where RT is equal to R0 1 plus alpha T minus delta times 0.01 T minus 1 times 0.01 T minus beta times 0.01 t minus 1 times 0.01 t power of 3, where alpha, beta, and delta are constant that are dependent on the purity of the platinum and are determined by calibration, while t is the temperature in degree Celsius. Table 9.3 which is based on a more elaborate, higher-order polynomial present a list of resistance value versus temperature for the U.S. calibration curve. There are a large number of configuration of RTD sensing elements. This figure shows a coil platinum wire sensor and a thin film sensor. In the coil wire sensor, the platinum is wound around a bobbin, and the entire assembly is then coated in the ceramic or seals in the glass envelope. The outer coating prevents damage or contamination. In the thin film design, platinum is played on the ceramic substrate and then coated with a ceramic or glass. The thin film design is a newer technology and is gaining favor due to its lower cost. It is important in the design of RTD probes to minimize strain on the platinum due to the thermal expansion since strain also causes change in resistance. As with strain gag, the Winston bridge is an appropriate circuit to measure the resistance change for an RTD. This slide shows a weak stain bridge as it might be used to measure the resistance of an RTD. 
two wire RTD will be adequate if the resistance of the lead wire is low and great accuracy is not required. Navigating the lead wire resistance and assuming R1 is equal to R4, therefore RRTD is equal to R2 times V supply minus 2V node over V supply plus 2V node. In this uncompensated circuit, lead resistance adds directly to RTD. A small lead resistance can introduce significant error into the measurement of output temperature. A method for avoiding this problem is by using a three-wire connection to the Wheatstone Bridge measurement circuit. An alternative circuit called a three-wire RTD bridge is shown in this slide, where an additional wire C has been added. If the lead wires A and B are perfectly matched in length, material and diameter, their impedance effect will cancel because it is in an opposite leg, opposite leg of the bridge. The lead wire C acts as a sand lead and carries a very small current. For this circuit, including the lead wire resistance, with R1 is equal to R4, the RTD resistance is given by R2 times V supply minus 2 volt over V supply plus 2 volt, 2 volt node minus R lead times 4 V node over V supply plus 2 V node. The second term in this equation is usually small, but to obtain the best result, the initial value of the lead resistance should be determined. This slide presents two more circuits used to determine the resistance of an RTD. In figure A, the voltage drop across the RTD is sent with two leads that carry no current and hence have no voltage drop. For this circuit, the resistance is a linear function of the measured voltage. Figure B use four current carrying lead following the same path to the RTD. Two of the lead plus the RTD are in leg A, D. And the other two lead plus R3 are in the RDC lake. As with the three wire bridge, the change in lead resistance compensates and have a negligible effect on V node. As for the four wire RTD circuit summary, it cancel lead wires and remove the effect of mismatch resistance. For example, the contact points. The RTD resistance is equal to R2 times V supply minus 2 V node over V supply plus 2 V node minus R lead times 8 V node over V supply plus 2 V node. This slide shows the summary of RTD formula for 2 3 and 4 wire RTD circuit. We will discuss more how to use the equation and formula during lecture. The third device is thermistor. Thermistor is device that have temperature dependent resistance. It show much larger change in resistance with respect to temperature than RTD. Increasing temperature causes a decrease in resistance, and the equation of thermistor is 1 over T is equal to A plus B ln R plus C ln R power of 3. Thermistor restricted, restricted to relatively low temperature. Many are restricted to 
100 degrees Celsius. Not available to measure temperatures over 300 degrees Celsius. Used in commercial moderate temperature measuring device. The resistance of a trimester is highly nonlinear. When inserted into a circuit, a fairly linear response can readily be achieved. Mechanical temperature sensing device. Liquid in glass thermometer, probably the best known of temperature measuring device, is the liquid in glass thermometer. The most common liquid is mercury, but alcohol and other organic liquids are also used depending on the temperature range. B metallic strip temperature sensor. These devices are based on the differential thermal expansion of two different metals that have been bonded together. As the device is heated or cooled, it will bend, producing a deflection of the end. There are three important systematic temperature measurement errors that are generic and deserve special mentions. Conduction error, radiation errors, and recovery errors. Surface temperature conduction error. Assuming surface is warmer than the surrounding air, heat will be conducted from the surface along the wire. The wire will in turn conduct heat to the surrounding air. The thermocouple lead wire acts as a cooling pin. The heat conduction process cools the point on the surface where the thermocouple is attached and this will produce significant measurement error. Heat loss from the fin is Q equal to third HP Ka times T naught minus T infinity. Substituting for parameter P pi D and cross sectional area A pi D squared over 4 for a circular film. Therefore, Q is equal to third HK pi squared D power of 3 over 4 times T naught minus T infinity. Where T infinity is ambient fluid temperature, H is equal to heat transfer coefficients, D is fin diameter, T naught is base temperature, fin parameter P is equal to pi D, fin cross sectional area A is equal to pi D squared over 4, and fin thermal conductivity is equal to K where Q is the heat loss. Conduction error in gas temperature probes. Conduction error in gas temperature probes is another kind of conduction error occurs when a thermocouple or similar temperature probes is used to measure a gas temperature. The sensor approach and equilibrium temperature based on the various mode of the heat transfer to it. These heat transfer modes are convention from the gas, radiation to the deck wall and conduction along the sensor support to the deck wall. For surface temperature measurement, we were concerned with how the fin affected the attachment point temperature. Here, we are interested in how the base affect the temperature at the, in, at the other end of the fin. Holman gives the formula for the temperature distribution along a finite length fin, where T minus T infinity over T naught over T infinity equal to cosh M L minus X over cosh M L. M is equal to set HP over Ka. At the end, X is equal to L and T is equal to the sensor temperature TS. So TS minus T infinity over T naught 
minus t infinity equal to 1 over cos ml. For fin of circular cross section ml, ml is, is equal to 3 4h over kd times l.